Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Elijah Chitaka. I'm Ugandan. I'm a performing artist, songwriter, uh, producer, and a drummer as well. So my journey as Elijah Chitaka starts when, um, as a drummer, people know me. Uh, so many people actually knew me as a drummer. Uh, drumming started, uh, I started my journey of drumming when I was seven. Uh, I grew up from a very musical family, at home, church, setting, um, coming to this uh, wonderful journey of growing as a, as a person, finishing school, I graduated, uh, I did software engineering, and uh, coming to doing, uh, being a drummer professionally, um, 20, uh, 2013, 2014. Um, so I started uh, doing gigs in town, um, pushing forward harder, uh, I got opportunity to play with some of the artists in Uganda. I've played uh, Maurice Kira's concerts, I've played with Limitex, I've played at the Jazz Safari with uh, Kaz Kasozi. I've also played for international artists like Nonso Amadi. I've been on so many festivals, I think all Ugandan festivals and some African festivals like Visa for Music, Morocco and um, so much more. Uh, Elijah Shitaka is my friend, uh, the Feza Elijah Shitaka, right? And we have been working together through the journey of uh, live music. When I was still playing drums, they used to provide gigs to us. Most of the artists used to uh, be booked by Feza, so um, it wasn't really like uh, a hard thing. The only hardest thing I think was being in the same place and the person's like, Elijah, everyone's gonna be like mm -hmm. looking at <laughs> the person, no, Chitaka, so. But it's fine, we are good friends and uh, I actually performed during COVID. Um, I released my album 2020, 30th March, which was my birthday. And I remember that was the beginning of COVID. So uh, COVID was kind of hard. It was the first, actually, I started music 2020 as a singer. Uh, though I was actually singing already, but not really in the spotlight. Um, so coming to the COVID uh, situation, uh, FESA also provided, I, I think, uh, a FESA online show where I performed and I was given the opportunity by the other Elijah Chitaka. Yeah. Path in music, I think music generally from where I come from, you couldn't really uh, get rid of it, starting from uh, my parents, starting from me going to church all the time, you know, my parents are really, really religious, like religious, so these people are so much in church. So I couldn't ignore the, the, the power of music in me. Um, Going to school, yes, you know, to know Kusoma, to Fune Mirimu, but you know, Walua Manyagabaga Kuska. So, music was that power that pulled me, and uh, I got interested in it. Like, studying as a drummer, going to now being a singer. Yeah, so it's a beautiful journey for me. My music is uh, African experimental music. I call it experimental because it's the feeling I have all the time when I'm composing as a producer or as a singer. You know, I feel like every kind of music we do is experimental because we don't know how it's going to be when it goes to the fans, you know. So I call it African experimental music for me, yeah. I still drum. Okay. I think people will have to see me drum on, on my own shows, you know. Yeah, I, I love drumming. Drumming is actually the foundation of how I write music, how I think musically, how I approach production. So it's it's the foundation of who I am as Elijah Chitaka. Okay. Yeah. So you still drum? It's yeah, yeah I still drum. I, it's, a, it's a hobby. 
it's within me so i can't get rid of it you know singing singing was an ability i had even when i was young though i was too afraid to to come out like and sing i always loved playing drums because uh i love energetic things and vi like vibrant things you know and uh as you well know like drumming is a foundation of the band a drummer holds the band so if a drummer makes any mistake the band band ya begin college so having that kind of chemistry and logic okubanga anti the drama i hold the band i direct i've directed like most projects you know uh like concerts zaba and to i've i've been given the opportunity to be a music director as a drummer so that kind of chemistry <coughs> pushed me into the 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 uh the ability of me uh having to be a songwriter or a singer so <coughs> it was natural because I was interacting with different kinds of artists so this ability had to come out because at some point we were anti normally more rehearsal over mukolachi you you feel like you have to sing something to to correct something you know so it has already chimba dem to chiva sichi pia I think before Swans Elijah Chitaka was uh, had a vision as a person and uh, when Swans came in in that vision uh now it's going even more bigger than where I, I expected it to be you know back then yes so we many city we have yango you know music wa Uganda mo many ndongo ya Uganda ojimani and when it comes to the kind of music I do it's different like ochiravanti every time wengeza continue okogera ku chino oba olaba ngira abantu je bogera mu about the music 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 quality different music quality what music quality what so it's already <coughs> a challenge okubanga abantu bayino kutegera music wonga okola che nga wo mu bagaliza but yeah. also chinyambe nyo okutegera how i feel about myself how people actually feel about how i feel about myself because we mampa ndika music oyonga mukola nga we mukola mukolera abantu but that's how i feel that's how i even feel for the music in our country because music wa formula anti music i know wa command to to wadena music asala kugenda wa bweru like to 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 competition ya music and too for you understand and i want to banji wa de bagama anti we are in a sound in a sound in our nigeria I, i want people to know this is ugandan music it's just me feeling that way about my country in tino ndi muna uganda ne endonge yo je nkola che je mpulira because we match to nya stuna ko on a level of uganda i'm looking at africa and the world at, at large you know that's how i when i write my music i i feel that kind of way when i'm doing it how did i join swangs avenue uh so swangs avenue today ko rugendo the other journey je ko gambi ndi asap my journey uh that the album which take the intent so kwa performance performance i was doing more of reggae performances so many ne reggae in africa ni team elimu uganda kwa people ignore reggae music and i'm a fan of reggae music so yeah <laughs> so but then guy young performing with the reggae night says of which um ne bugigi ulala so it comes to an extent ben uh so okuja like connection okujo bulonje it was benon because when i when i drama benon ya janga nyu mushezo stegede nga to interacting so nga omanya bintu ya connecting akati lero joshi nkusanze nga nja kusangula la tukoleche tunyume munga abantu ya so that is how it was kati ndi kujani yange like uh, singing and all that so rust and rhyme riches ngabajiranga in i try to call benon because yabira nga chali wange ne mukubira mga benon um that's 2019 uh 20 no not 2019 uh 2020 yeah 2020 yeah, 2020 march uh uh like how i joined songs is just recent it's it's uh 2020 yeah. 
much. Being officially? No, no, not, not signed, oh, okay. but Just to join actually. Young. So, Katinga, um, I find Benon, I find time in Mokovida. Benon, Chechi, I find time in performing across the realm. I said, hey, actually, I'm in Mokovida. So, I said, I'm in Mokovida. I'm in Mokovida, I'm in Mokovida. Performing, so we negotiate with Chevy. Next day, I came across the realm. Yeah, and yali no I enjoyed myself. It was uh, a crowd for me. No I, I enjoy like meeting crowds, even though the zim money. I want to express myself with what I have. So it was really nice. Then after, we took my rest and dream. Neither ni sigala ni ancha ni ne beno ni ochitege de because opportunity we jai geza sa umkisa go. I want to come at Swangs, maybe I will take the engage in manual producing. It's very fine, Django Kodeche. So, we have studio where Studios are available uh, so you can come and start producing music. Um, so, I come, I was like almost a month ago before I was signed at Swangs. So I've been doing music at Swangs, doing production. Neshoza uh, Wini Nalikong under the productions team. Neyazawi. Uh, so it has been. I want to. I don't want people to to think that I just joined Swangs because it was it was a journey of understanding like Bokun together, Nango Kuba together. So coming to the vision I had. It just worked out. Katonda Naya Viveram, God always involves himself in such things. So I get the opportunity. Nevan Peter, Julius calls me with Peno. Nevan yeah. They asked me about my vision. They liked the kind of thing we were looking at. Boom, Nange. We come to the table and to signing. So coming to where I am right now. It has to be good. You know, everything. Movilamo, Mikisa, Movilamo, like things like that. God is first. And uh, I think we, we, we just had the same vision and target where, where we want to take music to another level. Where we are right now at this kind of rate, everything is changing. music You understand? Music All our chats have Nigerian music. Almost like chat you know, South African music, Nigerian music. Chief was a new Kubanga Chati, a fete Kuli Rimba, Dusovola Kobeda, or Edova, Naluri Waguru, Oxinga Kurimba of Nigeria. You understand? So, coming to the kind of music I do, uh, as the vision of music right now, I want to take like music to an international level. You know? So that's the same here at the company. I feel like <clears throat> it's the time to have an international level of music understanding. Production in Akuzino Mujulira, it's different. Every time a song comes from out here, it's different. So it is the duty and the role of the artist and the company to have such a structure. So it was so it just, a, like an understanding, yeah. Talking about my band guys, like I love those guys so much because they've been there from day one, from the time I actually I was producing my, my Son of Kaloli album to the time when we actually made it here. I feel like all my letters on my name have every person standing with that letter. You understand? Oh, really? Yes, because it's not only a name, it's a team, you know. We always have to have a team when, when we're doing things like this. You always have to have a team besides you. So the team I, I actually Jina Moving and I Oktokawan was my band and it made me who I am. And I'm really proud of those guys. If it wasn't for them, Naliwa Desi Siri Daija Chitakono. Because uh, they played on my album, Eli Son of Kaloli, like Bulichimu Tubadeo and most of the guys were now singing Kuvien Abo when I was a drummer. You know, so coming from the drums going forward, the acceptance, 
because tu wali mu hustle you understand hustle jimanyi ngolie yo muyiriba ngate wali sente nenga mugamba tugene tukoleche tugene tu wakube so the spirit and the vision no chitege the vision yange siri munze kandi muna abantu abalala atengira bange genda going forward from where we are right now but i'm really happy they are with me because they understand me so much and my music uh discipline mm obwagazi like omuntu imanyo omuntu abagale chintu omulaba you understand and the vibes you know like the vibe chintu chikulu nyo you know it's like if i'm going to do a collaboration with an artist we have to have a vibe together and understanding you understand it has to feel like it is not only about the song it's about where it started from to do the song i love the fact that the fans are embracing the kind of music you know i feel like we need more people to do more music that is actually on that standard then we are standing for uganda on an african continental or even worldwide level so <clears throat> i just want the fans to keep on supporting such music that is outstanding because it holds our flag somewhere yeah You know, it's it's not bad to dream all the time. Every day we dream, we dream of being the richest people in the world. We dream of so as we work, you know, some some people have achieved their dreams, and I'm also on that kind of goal of dreaming, working hard to achieve a dream. You understand? I believe in myself. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if I don't believe in myself. So I believe in myself, and I believe one day will come. Yeah. Is a grammar. It's in my head. I actually never can you call it injiro ta ko buliru nako. Yeah. But te chiri ntino mukuru ta ko ka chiri ne mukole nyo. You understand you have to work hard for for the dream to come true. So it's one of my dreams and it's it's coming true soon. <laughs> My fashion is I love shorts. I love being simple. If I actually if I wasn't doing music, I would be doing fashion. Yeah. It was actually something I thought about before before being um uh, in the music industry. Uh my fashion is just simple. I love waking up in the morning. I love uh I love just being simple. I just want to wear a t-shirt, shorts, shoes, smell good, look attractive. Like just just have a vibe on you, but this is my kind of vibe. I like being simple. I don't want to be too much. Like, saga la kuvira nga eh? Ya kuvira nga chini angu ida mangu like yeah. This tattoo is like when it comes to my fashion sense. Um, when you're putting on either shorts or you're putting on vests, you have to have something at least that outstands the outfit you're putting on. So those are tattoos. When you when you see most 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 times are. Uh, I actually love the way Chris Brown is very simple when he's doing his performances. I never see him like putting on a lot of stuff. His simple t-shirt, shorts, stockings, nice shoes, tats all over. So it's just, it, it just looks attractive already. As I said, like you have to look attractive, you have to smell good, you have to also be yourself because when I walk on the streets I know people stare and do that, but I feel okay. I don't have any problem with with who is staring because I'm I'm living myself. Challenges are many but not so many because challenges are meant for us to elevate. You know, every time you get a challenge, it's it's a sense of chikube and elevate, you understand. So my na my na things are very very old, my money, uh, kuchanga na 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 bantu, but 
Uh, I was talking about this earlier somewhere. And he, as musicians, we need to we know Teresa Mukumpisa. You may respect one you can, but But singer respect you already. Singer to you all and you know, take it in Talonji. In Taleria, I want to like people that are outside the, the, the music industry that we are competing with are actually making sure they move as a team to conquer somewhere or take it. But for to be a Montal one, to my love, the Vonji Montal of Singapore music again, you understand. So, me as me, challenges in Zidaba Bolavine Colache, you see the challenges and in Zeta Muchi, most studio, you understand, yeah. Um, I play drums, I play keyboards, uh, not so much with the rest, but uh, the ability that I don't play a keyboard like sis, I've never actually worked like sis, you can cook my can get keyboard. Like I just sit on a keyboard due to my harmony ability or kuanga many harmony moons in mutwe. When you get pesa ku keyboard, many at you know. Code way to way. So, I'm practicing. Like, I'm going to be a little bit of practicing and practicing. Then, after getting fluent with what I want to play. Yeah. So, you're self taught. Yeah, self taught. And, I'm like waking up, uh, praying. I pray in the morning. I love listening to music very early in the morning, like uh, around five, six different kinds of music. Like uh, I like vintage, uh, listening to old music, like old jazz, funk, because Foundation Young a singer was based on jazz, funk, you know. And <coughs> being educated with jazz and, and funk, uh, Coming to culture, Afri like African music and all that, like flavor yang janina in my sound. It's in, like I'm inspired with jazz, funk, kujama African music. So in the morning, ya nyo a kind of different kind of music, artists, instruments because I listen to instruments because of uh, my journey of being a drummer. Yeah, so I listen to a lot of instruments, trumpets, saxophones and keyboard players, uh, that's my morning, then a day of course I have to, if I'm coming to studio I have to look for an attire, which is very simple for me, like never yeah. attire and energy that you have to do, you know, kunawa, kolachi, kubeda mumoyo, like all my day kubeda mumoyo, yeah, it's just being spiritual. Uh, what comes first is the melody. Melody. Uh, I don't write choruses first, I write verses first. Because I feel like verse again of a chorus for me. Who ke jiramu the spiritual kind of connection over the next story in it and you say. So when the next story you know you get katofuno kore se wako yi to understand that if this was the story, then what's the hook of the story? Yeah. Uh, most times I produce my music, like I produce nothing, nothing I actually started with the beat. And uh, when I was on the beat, it was actually evening and there was a producer from Nigeria, uh, the guy Ozedikas Wane, you know that kind of tag, he came along and he had come to visit like uh, Swangs Avenue and we were doing uh, some work together. So when you had me producing, I was like, hey man, this spit is so, so legendary, man. I was like, thank you. So I went on, actually did nothing like for four days. I gave it time, a lot of time, not really a lot, but four days because I, I did the beat, I did the first verse, actually did all the verses and it missed a hook, which was the chorus, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, as, I, as, I'm, as, I, as I'm producing music, I, I, I actually dream of melodies, what to add in the song, 
like muni mwaka kaloboza kwa that african voice ka chant so <laughs> it goes back to how i create as as a person move your now like i like him having an imaginary composition if you remember that paper jetwa kona ngam so many at naga makati imagine ngachi ni chintu wech ni wech so as i'm doing a bit imagining her on a level on kati we manga the uh, beat the african girl did nothing which is percussion which is setting area here african society culture which is. so njaga nyo did is even western music western music fella koti those other old guys i love vintage vintage is actually the the foundation of my music so it's like vintage and old school i mix vintage and old school in everything so okuda ku setting into old obulobozi bichi kati take out that kind of african society nothing actually i wrote nothing for music so someone did kila mukazi actually i wrote music ina mukazi wange like <laughs> you understand uh so that's how spiritual it was so i go into a spiritual state of knowing seeing the picture because my inchi imba kona inga inchi dava like na inchi dava chidi yao you understand so i put it front as i'm singing on the on the microphone ngawe nkuge menti it's more of going spiritual with the moment the bedroom essential was uh, was inspired by I was in I was going home all the time being in bed and uh I like listening as, as I told you I love listening to music in the morning so I got uh inspired by the moments of yearning for someone being in bed with someone being far away from someone you understand having to be with someone but you're happily having that kind of connection together you know but in a bedroom kind of setting you understand like everything you're going to do everything i thought about on the the bedroom essential was calling this person on phone or mommy singa or kolachi then while one time we're going to bed i'm saying yeah you're going to have that time together then all the time i'm talking about be love ngamo ni be fun you understand so that that was my kind of imaginary composition about bedroom essential Uh I worked with uh myself in the Banga Boy. Banga Boy is a very young talented uh producer. I don't want by the way can I come in to correct I don't want people to think Banga Boy ta guy because I'm told that almost every song yeah. I know. Uh but is a is a producer and is very good. Uh he, he actually produced the Uwo and uh Tutu Mama. He's a producer for Tutu Mama. Then I worked with Steve Keys uh, on um, Kontolo, the first song on the EP. Then I worked with Yokuki. Yeah, Yokuki did the uh, education, and I worked with a very, very young, uh, young talented man, saxophonist, uh, Michael Chitanda. Yeah, he played on one of the songs as well. Yeah. And it's only Vinka teacher. And Vinka, yeah, Vinka on the on the Tutu Mama, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of music with uh, all the artists. I have a song with Winnie that will come out. Oh, yeah, a song with Azawi. Probably a song with Zafran, you know. So it's not about it's not about who to pick. It's just about that perfect time of creation. Like we are family, so if anything comes up and you feel like this person is good for it, so that's how we we connected with Vinka. Uh, when I did Tutu Mama na soka ni mukola I did it alone mm. but I, it was good but it wasn't as good as it is right now mm. without her because she's a happy soul um, like she's always smiling mm. yeah ba seka uli dashika <laughs> you understand and I love her energy of of uh, the energy she puts in when she's doing a project you understand mm. if you see the video almost video ni mu yeah her dancing me I was just chilling one and I put you up so 
at the end of the day, I love her energetic kind of side. I love her, her kind of uh, approach, which take day, and even her voices eh, are blending Abulunji for the song. So I, I really love her, by the way, Moagara Nyovinka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My music is an experimental kind of setting, you understand? So I like experimenting things because all, the, all sound is on as a Tuliko Katizali experiment. You understand? So the unusual sound is an experiment that actually lives because it's real. You sound here in Mukfuluma. weather for two was, uh, I took time because I was trying to experiment lots of things. I was trying to actually experiment on my piano with the uh, Afrobeat mm -hmm. and uh, kind of uh, house music. Like, Nabi Kutula Kutula to get a flavor of that. Yeah. Uh, I see myself having some money, you know, not not, not as much money as I dream of. You understand? I see a lot of music, I see crowds loving my music, I see me singing for lots of people in the world, like uh, on an international level, German, Russia, where, everywhere in the world. Dumba, 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 dumba